Trey, what did it mean for you and maybe speak to the whole offense just to kind of do what y'all did that first half with, with everything that's been said about this offense leading into tonight? Um, you know, for us, it was a lot of guys' first game of us well, being our first game together. And um, we just wanted to go out there and show what we were about. You know, this entire week, our coaches were preaching to us at Furman, you know, we weren't really going to take them lightly. And, uh, you know, they're going to come off the bus ready to play with effort. So they challenged us to play with just as much effort and play even harder than them. And, you know, it showed out tonight. And I'm really, really proud of the guys for that. How often have you scored 76 points in a game? <laughs> Not often at all. Feels good, but we'll say I have scored 70 before last year, so it feels good. Just, and obviously, you're on the field, different perspective, but just your thoughts of Jackson tonight, and, and is that what he's been showing in camp all, all month? Oh, yeah, he's been super dialed in just into everything, you know. He's really just been leading by example and, you know, just stand out in the entire time. You know, I remember Friday Friday night, he told me that it seems like I'm losing a little bit of my edge. And, uh, you know, that kind of kind of got me going a little bit today. He got me running a little bit harder, a little bit faster today. So he's just doing everything that we all that I've been preaching about him since way before. So, you know, I'm super proud of him. And, you know, he's going to keep on playing the way he plays and, you know, got a great season ahead of him and just ready to keep balling with him. Trey, there were times last year where you guys really didn't have a tight end. This, this year you've got in game one, two that have scored touchdowns. How much does that change what you guys can do in the passing game? Oh, it changes a lot. You know, there's no possibility of anybody being able to double anybody on the outside. And uh, it really opens up things for the run game as well. You know, with those guys being able to go out and, pat, and uh, run really good routes and really get open, you know, that's going to start having, that's going to make the safeties respect them. That's going to make them back off and that's going to open up the run game. So having those guys, you know, they come to work every single day, you know, Daquan and uh, Caden Priest going, you know, they go out there and they, they play the tails off every single time. So I'm just super proud of them, super proud of the game they played today. Your head coach just credited the offensive line for a lot of the success you had tonight. Do you feel like a lot of pressure is taken off you all knowing that you have a revamped offensive line kind of giving Jackson more time? Oh, most definitely. You know, we know that they're going to give us time to run the routes that we need to run. And, you know, it also gives us time to, you know, do some things that, you know, maybe last year we weren't able to do, uh, you know, just being able to, you know, give more releases at the top end of, of routes and things like that. So to have those guys, you know, setting up a wall like that for Jackson and giving him so much time to be able to really spread the ball around is, is huge. And, uh, you know, big shout out to them. But, you know, next week, you got to gotta do it again. There's been so much hype around this team coming into the season being ranked in the top 10, but to come out in this first game and put up 76 points, what kind of message does that send? Oh, uh, we're, not, we're not playing around. Um, you know, we just want to go out there, play hard, play as much effort as possible. You know, that's, that's really the main focus today. You know, just really take each play, play by play. That was really, that was another main focus that our coaches were telling us. And, you know, just not really seeing the whole grand scheme of the game, but really just taking each play by each play and just playing that play and being where your feet are. So, you know, I'm really proud of the offense, like I said earlier, really proud of the entire team because defense played an incredible game with a shutout. So just shout out to the whole team. Got to go do it again next week. Trey, you uh, scored two touchdowns today. Hard not to notice that, you know, when a touchdown, when somebody scores a touchdown, they get to go dunk on the basketball <laughs> goal. Uh, first, what are your thoughts about, you know, how that came about? And then second, you know, what happened with that first one? <laughs> you had to redeem yourself on the second one. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a great way for the guys to have fun, have a, have a way to celebrate. Um, you know, it's something we came up with last year, and it's really fun uh, what happened. <laughs> I was tired, dog. I ain't going to lie. That's, that's, the, that's the best way to put it. I was tired. <laughs> Uh, you know, it could be one thing I'll, I'll say for sure. That's probably the reason we did take this game so seriously and the way we played and, you know, taking each play by play is that we have a lot of guys who play a lot of football, a lot of guys who know how the game goes, how the game flows and how everything's supposed to be. And, you know, just having that many guys with that many games under their belt and being able to have that, that amount of game experience with everybody and with the team, everybody just kind of clicked. So that was really the main focus. And, you know, even throughout practice, throughout the past two weeks of preparing for Furman, you know, we're telling our scout team to just give as much effort as possible so we can prepare to play as hard as possible going into, going into today.
What did you think of the guys that uh, stepped in for Watkins today? Oh, they played, they played incredible. You know, you had Josh Acker, you had Caden Lee, you had Juice, you had Aiden, you had Norrell White who even showed up. So everybody really showed up and really did their job today. I'm super proud of the room for really just going out and next, having the next man up mentality. And, you know, it's, it's a real deep room. And once Jay Watt comes back, it's going to get even deeper, and we, we'll show the rest of the world why we're the best receiver, receiver room in the country. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Thank you all.